her but a branded! I... I... How? How did you do it? How did you even survive? How? The answer is simple, Benedicta. He was fighting for something he believed in. Shut up! Why aren't you dead? We've played your games. Now tell me where he is. Who? What are you? Enough of this. What? She... She's gone. What? What's ha happening? Give her back! Give her back! Give her back! My lady! Where is she? Where is Garuda? found a way out. Clive, this place is ready to collapse, and I'd rather not be here when it does. If your dominant started this fire, and I'm betting he did, he'll be long gone. Damn it all. Wow. Was that? I created a diversion as commanded, Your Grace. The villagers escaped in the confusion. As should we. Yes. Okay. Oh, look. Morning has broken. And here come the cavalry, itching to butcher the bastards who made him miss their morning gruel. Come on. 
If they catch us leaving a burning care, people might jump to conclusions. Right. Wow, a lot happened there. Wings of change. Power of the wind. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Garuda's essence. So a portion, that's also important. So it's kind of the same deal as uh, as Phoenix, where he's not he doesn't have like a full icon icon power, but he's got part of it. Attuning with Garuda not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Gouge, a deadly flurry of talons that can tear into an opponent for multiple hits. Ability details can be found. Garuda's iconic feat, Deadly Embrace, can be used to draw smaller, lighter enemies towards Clive. The action can also topple larger enemies that become partially staggered when their will reaches 50%. Toppling an enemy in this manner can deal significant damage. Wow. Good shit. Press L2 to cycle between currently attuned icons in real time, allowing for a more varied assault. Ability cooldown times for iconic abilities. Okay. Ability uh, availability for all attuned icons can be confirmed via the colored dots. Sure. Benedictus said you've taken Ooh. her power. You don't still have it, do you? <laughs> I think I do. I can feel it. It's inside me, along with the flames. Well, are you not keen to try it out? What could possibly go wrong? Uh, they're, they're getting us straight into it here. Where did you two come from? You know what to do, boy. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is a madness. Yeah, I made sure I took the captain out. So let me deliberately switch back here. Wow, that's a really nice ability. Wow. So can I do a charged arrow? Yeah, I can. Okay, that's good. Yeah, combat's definitely going to deepen a little bit more now. Uh, this has already been kind of activated. Right, I guess now we have actually a lot of ability points. But I was just looking at this and this like tower with the giant mother crystal in the background. This is a bit of Elden Ring vibes, I have to say. A bit of rare Lucaria coming in there. So it did take a lot of my resources to defeat her. But I've got a lot of gill now. So... I should be able to buy it back. Now, let's have a look. Garuda channeled. Okay, so like most of my core abilities, like these ones are the same for all of them. Okay. We can do this. Rook's Gambit. Jump back, then deliver a punishing counter. If the jump evades an attack, the counter potency is increased. Can be used in midair. Okay. Yeah, these are all like the special abilities. I don't know. At this stage, it's probably not worth like that much at this stage. Like as in investing in something like this for now. Still, there's too much gap. Okay, I'm going to have to have a look at these. Let me put a new save in. You know what? I think I'm going to try this. So that I do have a bit more scope to kind of zoom around. I think I might go for that one for now. Let's do this. Okay. Here we go. Let's go, lads. Once again, it's going to take a bit of time now to readjust now that we have a second one available. Remembering to switch between them and use them effectively and, and whatnot. But sure we'll get there. I mean, I was starting to feel a lot more comfortable with the with the Phoenix. They've come from the camp. Yeah, boy. It's interesting that you can kind of keep you can keep going with that. Sick of Toggle! You know what to do, boy. Sick of Toggle! 
Get him. So this is the one where Deadly Embrace is helpful, right? Yeah. You bring it down and then you, you beat it up using that. Okay. Anyone who's played Elden Ring or watched me play Elden Ring, um, when I discovered using Gravity well against the bats, I was like, this is just, <laughs> this is so awesome. And so it's one of those kind of moments, using Deadly Embrace to pull down the flyers, of course, is a, is a nice one. Because one of the things I had noticed is that it had been a bit more difficult to tackle aerial enemies. And so I kind of like that. But yeah, trying to keep track of it and just remembering to make use of everything and switch around and stuff. We'll get there. Two more potions is also helpful. Okay. Uh, I still want to start with this, I think. Take out these homies first. Gonna ignore those guys for now. Ah, I messed up. You gotta be very close. Yeah, the way that you can just keep going with that is kind of dope. So aren't these guys weak to like Eroga? Nice. You know what to do, boy. Ah, damn it. Get him. Sick of Toggle. Yeah, this one's like you've got to be close, man. I guess the one better thing here is that when you have um, when you have a stagger, you've got more moves to play with, which is nice. Ah, I was wondering if it gives me a bit of a like uh, invincibility almost when I'm using the claw. Okay, let's calm it down for a sec. Yeah, give him one of those. Give him one of those bad boys. Come on. Oh man, it landed one more shitty hit. Get out of here. It was one hit away. Okay. Right, I just want to check this side of things as well, just in case there's an extra item or two. I have been picking up a few potions. Ah, okay. Sure, let's go for it. In the Emperor's name! Over here. Stay down! Get him, boy! Wow, it's got range, man. It's got range for days. I didn't think it, it would work from that far away. That's impressive. Wow. Nice. Yeah, definitely feel powerful, man. I think we've cleared this area out now. There's no more items or enemies to fight.
Oh, it's only me. Dummy, Gaff, are you trying to get yourself killed? It's not me who's been playing with fire. You don't do things by halves, do you? This way. So if it wasn't you or him who freed the bears, who was it? Good question. Someone who didn't have their hands full fighting a bloody harp here, I guess. But what matters is they're safe. Something they wouldn't be, had it not been for you, Gav. Ah, just doing me job, like. So, uh, what about his dominant? Gone. And after we were so close. Well, uh, I can track him. Why would you? Sid told us about your family. Lost me into Imperial Steel. Sometimes vengeance is the only thing that keeps you going. Thank you. Go safely, brothers. <laughs> I reckon he likes you. She's gone. She's gone. My lady, you have to hold on. We're going to get gone, you. Gone, gone, gone. <laughs> what am I going to do? Papa Barnabas. <laughs> How long to the coastal road? At this pace, we won't make it by sunset. He'll know. He'll cast me out like all the others. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? My lady. Carol. What do we have here? <laughs> Fetch a good price, I reckon. But we'd be doing the slavers a disservice if we didn't appraise her work. Stay away! <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. They can't hurt you anymore. Come on. Let's go home. Is this it, Sadolphus? My punishment for not listening to you? Sid. Do you feel it too? Garuda.
By the flames. will swallow this whole forest, and us along with it. Then I'll stop her. You'll stop her. I heard it again. Someone is calling me. Damn it, lad. That doesn't mean you have to listen. But I should have gone with Gav. Wow. Okay. Clive, I don't think you understand. That's not just windy weather you're wandering into. Benedictus' rage knows no bounds. And that's on a good day. I don't want to know what's waiting inside that. But I do. I have to find out. And I'm not turning back. Well, we are quite literally not out of the woods here. Here I was thinking, okay, we had the big boss battle, now we're just gonna chill for a bit, have some cutscenes, back to the hideaway, and no, <laughs> clearly not shit wow so yeah i mean i guess it looked like he kind of completely sucked the soul out of um benedicta and basically took the power of garuda but clearly it, w it was the same way that he's got like the essence of phoenix he took some of the essence of garuda but obviously not like the the whole thing because well, she made the, the full transformation she primed up so if he's going in there surely we're going to have some kind of like the the Ifrit icon and him, either it, it's going to make another appearance um, somehow. Like finding the connection between Clive and Ifrit is obviously going to be a big part of uh, understanding what the hell's going on here. Whatever it might be, something very big is about to happen, so let's be ready for it. Wow, there's just these guys there everywhere. So many. What the f Aye. One for every fragment of our mind. Sheesh. Are we really expected to fight all of them? Fuck me. Okay. Wind elemental. You know what to do. Not this time. Ah, tried to evade, did not work. But gonna be staggered soon. Get him, boy. There we go. That was a waste. You know what to do, boy. Okay. Forty experience points is nice, so. Again, if I want to, I could kind of skip all of that, but I will try to not do that. I don't think I need to defeat every single one either. But. Just check out this area. Damn. Okay. I just don't want to have to take on two at once. That's That would not be good. You know what to do, boy. Yeah, so with them it doesn't work, they're, they're too big for that, and so that's what's going to happen if you're not careful. Yeah, we can finish him off in one stagger, so that's good. Basically finish him off. Sick of Nice. Two kill. Come on, man. Huh. 
Yeah, I extended the range of the Phoenix Shift, but it's nothing like too insane. I, I thought we'd get a bigger range extension than we have. I'll go for it again. Come on, project army. Damn it, did not go up. Don't let them get away. They're still at flyers are a bit harder to get to. And I'm running low now. Yeah, not been a good effort here. Get him. Get him, boy. Don't let them get away. You know what to do, boy. Yeah, I was kind of hoping they might drop some potions and stuff, but not. So. I'm not sure in like a full-on icon battle. Are these always going to be icon versus icon, or we're going to be in like human form and try to take on icons? <laughs> Remains to be seen. I do think surely if it's going to make an appearance here. I think it's good practice, honestly. I still think I need the practice. I'm just going to keep fighting them. Oh, man. I keep, like, in my mind, I keep feeling like I can stray through things using this, but it just does not work like that. I'm stacking like 40 ability points every time. There's not too many more left. I think I'll ignore that one. That one's kind of far away from everything. Every time I press Phoenix ship. That's better. Get him, boy. Oh. The enemies don't seem to be dropping potions, unfortunately. It's just a lot of that stuff. Mm. Yeah, so this one I'm starting to get closer to mastering. Upgrade increases shockwaves, mastery allows assignment to any icon. Whoa. Is that the same for something like this? Okay, that's kind of cool. At this stage, I guess it's kind of not relevant, though, because I only have two slots anyway, so like, why would I change it? I feel like that's like if you've got more than three icons, you might want to do something about that. But. 
Yeah, any attacks where I have to hold things down, I feel like it's not... They're harder to work with for me, because obviously they inherently have delay. Upgrade increases shockwaves. Yeah, still a bit undecided for now. So I can see at least two more items. I'm going to try and pick those up as well. Then probably just fight this final one, and then we'll head in. Come what may, finally a potion, but unfortunately I've been, I haven't really been that good against these guys. It's already on to me. Shit. You know what to do, boy. Keep your distance, boy. Sick of trouble. Ah, come on, man. That was a dodge. I... Come on. Get out of here. And the final one. Yeah. Okay. Now, one thing I got to know is, do they? At what points do they lock you out of fast travel? There isn't. There is a, a waypoint thingy there, I guess. So that gate is not a million miles away. I'm curious because I feel a bit undersupplied. It feels a bit dumb to go in there when I'm when I'm this undersupplied. So let's see if, since we do have one of these things there, do they just let you do this? They do. It's interesting, but hey, I'm gonna make use of it, man. I've saved up a lot of gil at this stage, so I'm gonna make sure I go back uh, ready. <laughs> 